Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome ladies and gentlemen, we are live and free on SBS Demand, NITV and the Rugby Explorer app. Welcome to another Saturday Night Rugby match in Darwin, Northern Territory, this time between Uni Pirates and the Palmerston Crocs. Both teams are up high on the ladder, only one bonus point in between them, so this should be a tight contest as uh, Palmy are going to get us underway here. Welcome to everyone back home. Thank you for tuning in. And Palmy with a kick off here, sending a deep. And Palmy have nearly recovered that. Unfortunately, knocked it on. Why is there recovering that for Uni? Nice strong run there by number three, Matthew Vidicky for Uni. And they're going to pass that out to Robert Butcher, who's going to try and step through. <laughs> Unsuccessful. And you know, you're just going to pump that out deep and put it on the boot to try and get some territory. And Palmerson going to send it straight back down the centre there. Not the best uh, kick, but effective. Uni there running that one out of their own 22. We're passing it out to Butcher. He's going to put it on the boot. Mistimed his torp there, but still got plenty of distance. And Palmy got the nice bounce there. Number 13 puts that on his boot. Goes to the sideline. Uh, it's not out yet. Palmy can put some pressure on, but unfortunately missed the tackle on Wise. And there's a penalty advantage there. Against Uni, so penalty, sorry, not penalty advantage. And Palmerston are going to go for the points. Get some points on the, bird, uh, on the board early on. He's kept it low, and unfortunately he's missed. So Palmerston and Uni are going to run this out, and they're going to put that out 30 metres away from their own uh, try line there. So we have our first line out of the game. Oh, and the uni, uni player there tackled a uh, player in the air, but that got away with that one. Palmerston going out through the backs there. Number 13 with another run. Big number one takes it upon himself just to get some good metres. And number eight, he loves a good run up, Angus Watson. Dishing it out to the backs again. Let's see if they can get something. They're going to slightly pass high. Still collected, though. He's going to put it a chip, in the, chip over the top and try and regather himself. He's managed to tackle the fullback there and kick that horizontally out. So Palmerston with all the uh, play so far. And they're going to have an attacking line out seven metres out from their own try line here. 
great positional play. Now the uh, ground is wet underfoot. We did have um, some rain earlier and it hasn't dried off too much, so it is very slippery conditions out there. We'll see if that plays into uh, team tactics. Palmerston there winning their line out. I'm going to try and maul this here, but Uni seem to be countering that very nicely. And they've made a break down the side. Number six there. And Palmier over the try line. We'll wait for Robbie, the referee tonight, see what his call is. And he's awarded it. Hopefully get a replay of that, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, Robbie Butcher just asking for a please explain. Kicker there, walking back. Looks a little bit worse for wear. Unfortunately, uh, we're just having a few issues with the replay. Uh, Nathan Dixon here with the conversion attempt. Right in front of our... Uh, direct line of sight for our cameras so you should get a good view on this and he sprayed that to the uh, left won't be happy with that kick And uh, looks like Butch has given up his kicking role here, and it's going to be the fullback. Stalinos is going to get us underway. And he's missed on that one, but kept it low. Uh, it's recovered there by the nine for Palmerston. We will put that straight on the boot, and we've kicked it out a metre short of halfway. That's a great kick there. Oh, looks to be their fullback tonight, Caleb Smith. Another line out here, metre away, metre away from halfway. Uni's first throw here. Usually very dominant in the line outs. And they've got the win there, and they're going to send that out to the centre, who steps inside one. Isaac, always a good, strong run of the ball. Uh, pass that out there to number five, I believe. Uh, Butch is going to do a cut out to Wise. He's going to go out back to the four. Uh, we've got a penalty advantage there for a high shot against Uni. Number seven getting one, Ryan Oakley, high shot. Butch is going to do a grubber and see if he can recover that. Unfortunately, it didn't pay off. So we're going to come back for the penalty. And they're going to go for the penalty as well here. Missed that one to the left side there. 
And we're going to have a 22 dropout. And he's put that on the boot and it's gone over the 10 metre line. Nearly getting past all the uni, but wing is there in defence. He's going to run that straight back and getting through four tacklers there before finally getting brought down. Number nine having a go at trying to steal. Stick to your job, mate. What's that out? Number eight's having a great run. Ten metres made there by him. Benjamin Parks for passing out to Butcher. Passing that out again. And we're going to go inside to Isaac. Isaac's got the speed. One on one with the fullback. Fullback's managed to stop him. And he's going to pop past that too. He's number five. He's got over the line there. Oliver Litton with a try there. Very gr strong run. Sorry. Very strong run from uh, Isaac. Sets up that try. Here's the replay. Oh, flicks that out. Butcher is going to shrug off one tackle. Gets it out to Wise. Pops that back inside to Isaac, who's going to run through. Make three people dive for him. One on one with the fullback. Gets tackled. Pops it off to the five, being Oliver Litton. Gets over the trial line. University hit back quickly. Stonos with the conversion is unsuccessful again. And that makes it five all between Uni and Palmy Crocs with 29 minutes to go. Not nine minutes shown on our uh, clock there. We still have 29 to go. Just for the uh, viewers at home. As Palmerston are going to get us underway. Nice high kick. 13's got hands on that and it's been pushed back. It's been pushed back to the winger. He's put a chip and chase on. And he's claimed Mark there. Who's going to get absolutely monstered by the winger and looks like a second row. And a quick tap. And now he's outside the 22 and just does a chip and chase and recollects there. He's made a pass of 50. That's a great option there. And they're going to pass that out to Benjamin in the number eight. And Wise is going to have a hit up. Really has a hit up these days. He usually likes to offload. Great ball player. He's going through Isaac there. On to out to the winger. On the far side. And there's been a penalty. Looks like he was tackled and didn't release the ball and tried to make an extra few metres there. Thomas Canvas there. Get the penalty against him. And you know you're going to have a line out here on the 10 metre line in their own half. They'll be looking to uh, have some ball retention and put some pressure on Uni here. Just a two-man line out. Not sure about that option. And there's been a penalty awarded. A bit of offside play. Not back 10, Uni. Another short kick there, but they definitely made sure it was out, so coach will be happy. Palmerston going to have a line out here, two metres away from 10 metre line, so 38 from their own try line, and they've ballsed up their line out there. And Butcher has put that on the boot, seen the winger was up, so he's put it over his head. 
was going down deep into the 22. And the fullback there for Palmerston gathers it up and puts it straight on the boot. But he's only made 10 metres there, so Uni are going to have the attacking ball here. 30 metres out from their own try line. And they've overthrown that. It was as straight as a roundabout, but it wasn't called. Cool. So Palmerson got the ball. And a nice long kick from inside their 22, gathered by Stellianis. He's going to put that on the boat. Keeps it low. Overlinked to dribble this through. It's pulled up short inside the 22 for Palmerston. He's put that on the boot, and it's gone out. Just short of the 50 metre line here. We'll see what the touch judge rules it as. Yeah, a metre short there. Great option there by the fullback. He was going to get absolutely annihilated if he had to pick that ball up. So he just put it on the toe. Made some good metres for his team. Good option. <coughs> Getting with the line out throw here. And another one that was as straight as a roundabout, but. Get it out to Butcho, who's forced to take a hit up. Doesn't love contact that much, but he will take it eventually. Number nine there trying to make some meters and fall straight back into where the breakdown was. Great meters made there by one of the piggies for uni. As we go out to Benjamin there, number eight. So the piggies are running around there, number three. Matthew. And we've got a penalty there for Palmerston. We'll wait for the call. Uh, it looks to be from the side. Not releasing, there we go. And Palmerson with the kick there. We're going to have a line out directly across from our commentary. 35 metres out from Palmerson's uh, try line here. They'll look for some attacking ball. Right in front of Uni bench. And a missed throw there, miscommunication. So Uni have got away with the ball there. Straight on to Butcho, who's put that on the boot. And he's kicked it out on the full. Rookie error there by Butcher. By Butcher. So the ball's going to come back. Palms on over. They make up for this line out. They've gone for a set play and it hasn't come off. Uh, the ball's now in Uni's hands. And number 11's there, made a nice little break, nice 10 metre run there. And passed out to Butcher again, who's put a little tip over the top. Wise was following, but nicely recovered by Palmerson. And the winger's going to run it straight back at him, and he's going to get taken out over the sideline. And there looks to be a scuffle on in back play. Because Uni should be missing one of their players from last week after one of them was red carded for four punches. But that remains to be seen. Calling both captains out. Oh, 
push we can uh, see what they're doing there so we're just gonna have a line out by the end of that little talking to both captains university is through nine meters out from their own halfway and that one again shows around about and there looks to be a knock on got away with one there and there's a been a late hit by the looks of that As one of the uh, players from Palmerston brought out to the ref, we'll hopefully see this. As it looks to be shown a card there. Not sure of the colour. We uh, didn't want, didn't pick that one up. Tip tackle there. That was the penalty. the line out throw good win there they can pass it out Butch is going to put that into Isaac's hands he's going to step back on the inside and make good meters put that out again to looks like Benjamin it's taken by three guys before he finally goes down and that ladies and gentlemen was a red card uh, so he will be off for the game, but he can be replaced in 20 minutes as there's a knock on there by uni And it looks like due to that uh, red card, we're going to be uncontested scrums. The <coughs> ball was hooked out there, so no relief from the number nine for Palmerston. Gets tackled and university hands on the ground there first. Should have been penalised, but got away with one there. And they're going to go blindside again. Sets back in the board, but fortunately knocks that on.
pass that out to Butcher with an inside runner, but skips into Isaac, who pops that out to the 13, who's going to get brought down from behind. Brandon, uh, Brendan Russell. That's been turned over there by Palmerston, who didn't release first up and got away with that one. They're going to pass that out to the fullback there under pressure. Puts it on the left Duke. Puts it into midfield. And he's going to be under pressure there and he just goes to the sideline and bounces it out. Not a lot of meterage gain there by Uni. But the ball is in Palmo's 50, so they'll be uh, happy with that. Palmerston can have the line out here. 35 metres out from their uh, defensive line. Need to have some ball retention and a bit of calm head for Palmerston so far. And they've won the line out, getting tackled instantly. The big prop goes in the scrum. I always love to see that. And they've put a towering bomb there. University didn't want to have a part of that, but get a good bounce and put a straight back on the boot. And it's going to come back with interest here. And unfortunately, the big, looks like number eight, tried to put that on the boot. And it's kicked it out on the full, so the ball's going to come back. throw there. Uh, Butcher's going to pass that out to Isaac with the substitution there. He's going to knock that on cold. Number 25. <laughs> Palmerson here with a scrum. Passing that out to the 10, who's going to put that on the boot. And he's popped that nice kick, and that's gone out. And it's going to be Palmerson's ball here. That's a great kick. Palmerson's going to have an attacking line here, eight metres away from uh, their scoring try line. Stolen the line out. Great pressure there, and they're going to pump that out to Butcher, who's going to put it on the boot, who sent it to the halfway mark, but it is retrieved by number 14, Paul Palmerson, who's going to put that back on the boot. And it's been caught by Tim Ross, who's put that straight back on the boot. And he's put it over Palmerson's fullback's head, and it's gone out here. See if he wants to have a quick line out, and he dummies one, and thankfully thinks about it. And doesn't pass that in. And he was uh, just asking why the extra meter is there, being given an extra 10 meters, which has given Uni back the ball because of the extra meters. And Uni have gone for the throw, and it's been a short arm penalty. They've closed the gap. They've been warned about that all night, and they close it again, so they're going to get the short arm against them. So puts a torp up. Unfortunately, doesn't get a hold of it, but still goes into the opposition 22. Uni there have kicked that back to Palmerston, who's just going to hit this up by the looks of it. Breaks one, the winger. Gets caught by the second. The old soul there dishes that out. He knows what to do. 
Keep it in tight. He's going to go out to the number 10 who dummies and gets through the line with ease. And he's still running towards it. Puts a little grubber through. Gets taken out afterwards. And then Uni have recovered that and put that straight on the boot. No one's back for Palmy as they're all attacking. Fullback's covering and he's only got the nine on him. He passes inboard to his winger. Who puts it on the boot. End over end. Not the greatest looking kick, but Butcher looks like he's going to recover that. Settles and puts a torp on. And it's going to go out there at the halfway line. Last five metres interest. And nine metres interest from the touchy. As the university making a substitution here, five's coming off. Wait for his jersey number to see who's coming on. So Oliver's off and uh, Matthew Sanderson looks like he's come on. Uh, there's been a knock on by you, missed again. Pass that out to six with a very flat ball, but it's nearly intercepted there by Palmerston. And there's been a penalty. Palmerston's way there. Not sure what that call is from uh, the referee there. He's made three different ones. Palmerston going to go for points here. So this penalty attempt is going to be from 47 metres out. Sorry, the other way. 42 metres out. Not much angle. About 20, 25 metres in from the sideline. But 10 backs himself here. We, are, we do have 10 minutes to go in the half, so it's a good option here. Pressure on the board. As he makes the attempt, and he slotted that straight through the middle. The boys had already started clapping when it was only halfway through. He knew that that was golden. So that makes the score 8-5. Palmerston Crocs leading University with nine minutes to go in the first half. As Uni get us back underway, put it straight down the winger's throat, who's going to put a torp on, gets a hold of it and puts it over the top of his other winger there, who's run that back in the 22, runs out. And he's put that on the boot. And the fullback there is covering that kick nicely. He's put a banana kick on that. That's a great kick there. And Isaac's going to recover that. Pass that inboard to Butcher, who's going to dummy. And fend off the fullback, breaking through the line. Pops it inside to, looks like Benjamin. Gets swamped by three fellas. They're going to pop that out forward to the eight, who's going to run in and then try and run around for a better conversion. That was Benjamin, sorry. Digby made the metres, and then uh, Benjamin Parks with the try. So Butcher going to run through the line here. Passes it off to Digby. Draw three. Pops it up. Number eight gets that. Beats one. Beats two. Runs around for an easy conversion. And puts it down. So great try there by Benjamin Park. Set up by Butcher making a break. And by Digby Froome. 
drawing three players to finally get him down. Uh, number 19 is set off to the blood bin. Lots of claret coming out of his uh, head there. Number 15 here with the conversion. Dillianus. So 23 metres out from the mark. 10 metres from the sideline. Straight in front of our uh, camera angle here. Should get a good view of it. That over the black dot. That makes the score 12 8. University Pirates leading Palmerston and Crocs there with uh, six minutes to go in the first half. Probably there just uh, explaining to multiple Pirates that he's actually officiating the game. Uh, maybe they should just bite their tongue for a little bit. Remains to be seen if they actually do that. Palms to get us underway again here. And there was a block play there by Uni. It was blatant to see. So Palmerston are uh, going to get the ball back here. And they're going to go for points. This will put them, if successful, one point behind, but points on the board. Building that pressure, as we say. Kick's going to be from 36 metres out. And we give him 17 metres from the sideline. So relatively uh, straightforward here. He's a Molly Duca, so don't hold that against him. And again, straight through the middle, his wing is there, clapping him before the ball's even gone five metres. They know that he's an accurate kick there. It's great to see. Makes the score 12-11, University Pirates leading Palmerston Crocs. We have four minutes to go in the first half of this uh, quite close tussle between the two clubs. As we're going to get back underway by uh, Stellanos. And he's going to pump that one deep. Recover there by the 10 for Palmerston, who's put a massive torp on. Deep inside his 22, caught inside the 10 metre line. And he's going to run this back. He's not going to put it on the boot. Fake the kick. And he's made it to the other 10, not held, so he gets up again. Great metres made there by the winger. Going to pass that out. Isaac there is going to put a grubber on, charged down by the big bopper. Number one, Palmerson. He didn't know what to do with it. Unfortunately, knocked it on. We're going to have a scrum right on the 10 metre line here. Uni's feed. And in Uni's attacking half. You see the uh, banner in the background, come play rugby. It's open to everyone, juniors, men's at, and the women's competition, all up and running. Come join a team. Butcher's going to feed that back into the 25. He's lost that in contact, and it's going to be called a knock on. He's not happy about it. He's uh, spraying some Palmerston guys. We're just letting him know that he's got, you know, safe as hands as long as they're wet paper bags. Not sure it'd be drawing on if I just uh, knocked the ball on there, but 
Each to their own, I guess. We uh, hear some noise from the small crowd we have there. It's good to hear him. He's passing in a dish out to the 10, who's going to put another torp on. Doesn't quite hit the sweet spot, but still gets a lot onto it. Gone deep inside the opponent's 22. He's going to run that back to the edge and put it on the boot and kick it out, and it's going to go over the halfway mark again. Plus a lot of interest from the touchy. Looks like we're playing where the uh, ball touches the ground, opposed to where it goes out. And again, Robbie is having to officiate uni to actually tell him who's officiating the game. Pet hater ball referees. There's a nice short ball in there by Palmerson. Won the line out. And a dummy play there. Put it onto the 10 who's going to put it up nice and high. That's coming down with rain on it. And 14 has knocked that on cold. He didn't want to bar over that one. And he puts his hand up in apologies for his teammate. But that ball came down with rain on it. So Palmerson going to have a scrum here on the just outside the 22 metre line. In their attacking half. Palmerson here with the feed. They pass that out to the 10. He's gone into the centre, who's been met nicely there by looks like Isaac in defence. And then a penalty, and no advantage there. And number eight again on the wrong end of the penalty, Benjamin Parks there. Number 10's having a good game for Palmerson so far, Nathan Dixon. As the halftime hooter goes off in the background. And Palmerson have elected to go for the points here. It's directly in front, right on the 22 metre line here. It's the easiest kick so far for them. So definitely the commentator's curse has happened there. slotted it again that's half time ladies and gentlemen with that penalty conversion that brings us to 14-12 Palmerston Crocs leading University Pirates what an entertaining first half so far we'll uh, get you back in the action as soon as we can in the second half enjoy our quick break here
Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for tuning in to SBS Demand, NITV, and the Rugby Explorer app. We're going to get back underway in the second half on this tight contest between University Pirates and Palmerston Crocs. Crocs so far leading 14-12. With a tight tussle in the first half, both teams, not much they have to work on, just a bit of ball retention. But that is expected in the slippery conditions. Had a lot of rain earlier on. And still very wet underfoot. So it should be an entertaining second half. It looks like uh, where the players that keen for the game were actually waiting for the uh, referee. And the touchies. Boys just want to go at it and have uh, had to hold back. There's uh, Robbie here, back on the field, officiating tonight. Thanks, mate. As uh, you're going to get us back underway here, and they're going to send that deep and wide. Looks like it's out on the full, and that's not the start of the inning we wanted. Palmy will be looking to pounce at this opportunity, get some points on the board. They have been showing that they are willing to kick for the penalty instead of just going for the tries. Hence why they're leading so far. As they're going for a scrum <coughs> directly on halfway. Now, uh, just some messages that have come in half time. Looks like NCRU, we aren't going with the 20 minute red card rule. Uh, so, unfortunately, Ricardo earlier, he hasn't been able to be replaced. So we're still uncontested scrums here. Passing going to go out to the left here, into the hands of number 10, who's put the ball up into the air. That's another one that's coming down with rain on it. And Stolonis has knocked that on cold. It's been recovered there by 10, who's popped that onto the outside to 10, 12, actually, who's put that on the boot. And no advantage there, so that's going to get called back. Palmy with all the attacking play so far. The coach will be happy. His halftime speech has worked a treat. You need to look a little bit sluggish out of the blocks here. They do usually come home like a house on fire, so we'll see if that uh, happens again. And they're going to pass that out. 10 there, Nathan, onto the 12. He's going to do a cutout, but it's intercepted there by Uni 11. Who's never released the ball, getting dragged back. But now number 10 has been turned over. Number 10 has gone through one, and he's got no one in front of him. And he's dived over the line. We'll be looking for a replay there as soon as we get whether or not that's a try. We'll just uh, square in on the uh, referee, see what he's going to adjudicate. As we get the replay here, that looks to be clean. We'll see if Robbie allows it. 
And he does. <coughs> so that's a try to uni. They've got the points on the board early on, maintaining that pressure. So just from that replay, uh, ladies and gentlemen, was a clean pickup uh, from a messy play at the breakdown from uh, uni. And uh, 10 was lucky enough to pounce on it and had no one in front of him as uh, Uni had gone full attack mode. And he's converted again. He's got a nice, straight, strong boot there, number 10. He's having a game out, Nathan Dixon. Uni back underway here and number eight for Palmy Dragons. Is unfortunately not been able to drag that down, but didn't knock it on. But 25 for Uni has got it there. Making up for his first half errors. And they're going to pass that out to the seven and out to Wise with the winger who steps back on the inside and is going to go through three people. That is the softest defense you'll see in rugby, ladies and gentlemen. They all fell off him like they're looking for a nickel on the ground. As we go through the replay here. Butcher gets the kick underway. Good contest in the air. 18 versus 8. Palmy run over the ball there. 25 does a smart thing finally and just takes the hit. Going to pass that out to 8. On to 7. On to Wise at 4. Winger there steps back inside. Beats 2. Has 3 go for him like it's a soft paper wet bag. And fall off him. Be a lot of... Uh, Explaining to do to the coach and the replay there, but you only come away with the points here. We're looking to convert this. He's brought that back on the 22 meter line, just inside the five, so four and a half meters out from the try line. He's kept it low, and he squeezed that inside the right upright there. So get the conversion. Palms and Crocs leading 21-19 over Uni with 33 minutes to go in the second half. And Nathan Dixon going to get us. Back underway here. And contested in the air only by Uni, and they look to have knocked that on. And Palmy had driven over because the knock on wasn't called there. Gonna pass that out to Nathan Dixon and 10 again, who's a rookie error by one of the forwards there, trying to pop past it. And Wise there's bounce off one and two. He's passed that out wide to the winger. Tries to step back in board for Uni. Thomas Canvas there with a nice step in board. Robert Butcher finally doing a hit up. He's going to wake up a bit sore. It's the only contact he's had all season. Nice pass out to number one for Uni. And Butcher's going to put a grubber in nice and low. Uh, it's batter back there by 13 for Palmerston. Not the best option. 
but safe kick out there. Instead of turning the ball over, we're going to have a line out to University. 15 metres out from their track attacking try line. As uh, multiple substitutions look like they've uh, been called for uni. And straight around, straight as around about again that line out throw, and it's been let to go. And he's running untouched because all of Palmerston were worried about the throw and no one worried about the tackle. Let's have a look at the line out again. Caught on the outside shoulder. Number eight running through untouched. Benjamin Parks with a try there. As a conversion there is unsuccessful, left it outside the right-hand post there, making the score 24-21. Uni Pirates leading the Palmerston Crocs with just under half an hour to go in this tight clash. like Nathan Dixon getting us underway again. Highly contested ball there. Ball going everywhere. And Uni are all over it here. Making some metres there. 23 is going to have a run. Pass that off to the outside to Isaac, who's unfortunately stepped out. Try to step back on the inside and unfortunately put his uh, foot on the line by the looks of that one. And another throw that was a uh, territory flat. But Palmy got away with it there, making good meters. And Tenzé going to pop that off to number four. Pass that out back to the ten who's going to put that on the boot. And that again is going to come down and rain on it. Uh, bobbled, but it's going backwards there by the 14 for Dragon, uh, for Pirates. Sorry. We've seen that the winger was up on the open side and put it over his head. Sorry, the 13. Who's put that on the boot as well. And that's gone in five metres out from the sideline there. Isaac covering nicely. Inside is 22. Put the long kick on. Unfortunately, hasn't put that out. So it's recovered there by the 15. By Palmerston, who's passed it into the number one, who's unfortunately knocked that on cold. So unfortunate for Palmerston there. They were uh, winning the tussle. And full back there passes it to a prop 
in the centre of the field. Probably not the best option. Coach might be uh, asking a few questions there. Plus goes out to Butcho, he's going to skip that out to Isaac, who's beaten one in the tackle, runs at the 10 and is pushing him back and making great metres there. Slight bobble. And again, getting penalised for not releasing. Instead of the slight bobble, just crawling along the ground and not releasing first up when Palmy have an opportunity to steal the ball. It's been the curse for uh, Pirates all night tonight. So silly breakdown errors. Palmerston here with a line-out throw. They're going to get it eight metres out from halfway in their uh, defending half. And that's been won by Uni there. He's passed that back out to Butcho, who's dummy the kick. He's passed that out to number eight, who's passed that back in board. It's been knocked on there by 18, and we're going to have no advantage there by Palmerston. Eighteen, Matthew Sanderson with a knock on there. Won't be happy with himself. David Taylor in at nine there with uh, the feed. He's going to pass that out to Nixon. Going to put that on the boot. He's put a bomb up. Hasn't got much distance on it. And Uni have missed that completely, but it looks like they've got a little touch on it. So it's going to be Palmy's ball. Looks like he jumped underneath it. And then just a little fingertip there. Pumps are going to have a line out here, 35 metres out from their attacking try line. Nice line out win there. Number nine trying to gather that out to Nixon. Pops that back in board to the six. Digby Froon. They're going to go back to the blind side. Four's knocked that on there. Won't be able with that effort. Wasili Sekatoa won't be happy with that knock on. And you need to put that straight on the boot. Down deep into Palmerston's 22 here. And recovered by the fullback for Palmerston, but a shocking kick out of trouble. Tony gained on 10 metres there, so University are going to have an attacking line out. As looks like she's been officiated by the bench there, where the ball actually went out. So the ball is going to be played. 25 metres out from Palmy's defending line. So they've won the line out there. Butcher with the pass, and he's done another contact run up there. Yeah, pass it on to the blind side to Wise. Nice strong run by him once again. 
25 for Union. Another run up. And uh, he's not releasing again. That's been his go to move all night. 25 gets isolated and doesn't release. And now he's back out of the ref. That's a real great uh, way to recover from his poor first half. Palmerston here with a line out 10 metres on the 10 metre line. 40 metres out from their attacking try line. And they've won the line out there. They're going to pass that out. Dixon again. He's going to put that on the left Duke and put it high and long. And it's been muffed by the winger again from Uni. Can't catch a cold in winter, that bloke. He's put it on the boot and made great metres for him. So Palmerston going to have another line out here. Three metres out from halfway in their attacking half again. And another one, line out one. Six just going in with a crash ball there. Met solidly in contact by Wise. That's been blown up here. This might be for a high shot. Two shoulders to the faces. Uh, might be in a bit of trouble here. As the umpire there is looking at the captain. If we can get a shot on the umpire. He's been sent. Let's try and get a colour on what card that was again. So a high shot. And that was a yellow card. So only 10 minutes in the bin there for the uni player. And Palmer's going to go for points here. Looks like Wise was the player that was sent off for 10, looking at the players left on the field. As he's absolutely shanked that kick. He's got underneath it. He's pushed that to the left. It's been retrieved by Uni. We've put a stray back on the boot. And we're going to have another line out. With Palmerson's throw. 35 metres away from their trial line there. And uh, contested in the air, Uni come away with that ball. Going to pass it out to Butcher. He's going to put that straight on the boot. And he's going to kick long. And penalty already uh, for offside for Palmerson. So it's going to be a penalty to Uni. And have a line out at the halfway line with University's feed. With a small three point lead so far. Directly in front of where our cameras are. Get a good view on this one. He's actually thrown one straight and it wasn't won. Surprisingly, when it's not thrown straight, they don't win it. When it's thrown straight, they don't win it. So it's going to be a knock on to Palmerson with their scrum feed.
They're going to go out to Dixon. He's going to put it on the left Duke again under pressure. And it's gone to the 11. who's dropped it cold straight between his legs. And it's being called a knock on. Palmy here have just been able to get the territory battle so far in the second half. There are high kicks making them come down, rain on them, and uh, uni wingers have apparently no idea how to catch a high ball. Might be something the coaches will look at in the week. As a ring of changes for uni with three gumming on there and one substitution for Palmerston. We have a scrum here for Palmerston right on, yeah, right on the 22 metre line here in their attacking half. They were looking to convert this here for sure. There's a pass out of Dixon who goes out to the fullback who cuts it out to the winger who's knocked that on cold. Fortunately, the winger there for Palmerston knocking that on. Fortunately, our uh, team sheets aren't quite full due to the uh, Privacy Act. So uh, we just have name withheld here. As Butch is going to get the ball and put it straight on the toe. But it's recovered nicely there by Caleb Smith, fullback for Palmerston. Let's put that back on his boot. Nice talk. That kick is coming down. Rain on it. He's got an ugly bounce for Butch. He wasn't expecting that one. And there's been a penalty. Uh, offside for Uni. And they're going to go for the shot. Penalty kick. That one's going to be roughly 35 metres out from the post. About eight metres in from the sideline. Uh, not to put the commentator's curse on him again, but I'm backing him. He's put the kick underway and he's slotted it. So scores are all tied here. 24-24. Palmerston Crocs tied with University Pirates with 13 to go in the second half. It's going to be an entertaining finish, ladies and gentlemen. Do not go anywhere. Keep streaming us on SBS Demand, NRTV and the Rugby Explorer app. Hope to keep you with us for the remaining 13 minutes if not longer as Butch is going to get us back underway sends the ball up high so only go on 13 metres and it's been knocked on there by Uni unfortunately but it's been regathered by Palmerston and Robbie said that one from Palmerston has gone backwards a lot of knock-ons there by Uni and uh, not rolling away is the call from Robbie from Uni. And a bit of complaining again by Uni there. Number seven, Ryan Oakley. Said he was taken in the air. As we see in there, just laying in the middle of the ruck, not going anywhere, just stopping Palmerston from getting the ball. Don't know what he's complaining about there. Scrum here, right in front of the commentary box. Palmerston set deep in their own uh, 50. 
Pass it off to Dixon on the left. Duke is going to put another high one up here. None of the Pirates want that. They're going to let it bounce and they're going to get a hand to it before Winger drags it in. Tries to split two of the Pirates defenders there. Makes it a couple of meters for good measure. 25 here with a step and an inside run before finally getting brought to ground. Gonna pass that out to Butto, who's set deep, and he's going to put a chip on there. Uh, not much urgency there by uh, Palmo. There, and the ball's gone out. Five metres out from their defensive line. And it's going to be uni ball. Not sure that uh, Palmerston realise that the rule has changed. And we're going to have a Palmerston throw. And it's been stolen in the air by Uni. We've passed it off to Butcho, who's popped that off to 18, who's done a nice crash ball. Numbers out wide. Butcher tries to take it himself before finally popping it off to 8. And a shocking pass out to Butcho, who's made the best of it. Try to do a little flick pass at the boots of his player there. They've gone out wide here. They've got numbers all day. Seven's going to dive over the line and get the try. Ryan Oakley with the try there. So we're going to pass that out to Butcher. Nice high pass. He's going to flick that out. Again, we're going to pass that out to three. He's on to seven. Ryan Oakley over in the corner. Dives over the line. As a conversion attempt here. He's missed it to the left there. Making the score 29 24. Uni Pirates leading Palmerston and Crocs with eight minutes to go in the second half. Been a seesaw battle here. It's been great viewing so far. I hope it continues for this last seven minutes. As Dixon's going to get us back underway here. Great kick there. It's been retrieved by 18. Who's passed it off to his uh, offside of number seven. Who's been trounced instantly. A uh, nice high ball there is what you want. And a full pass there to Butcher. Got away with one there. Going to pass that out. Looks like Wise is back on the field. Where Stan Loss is going to make a break through the center. Put it on the toe, and he's running around the fullback there. He's put it on the toe again, and he's dived on the ball in the try zone. Great individual effort there by Stolinus. Has got speed to burn. As we look at the replay, nice full pass there to Butcho. He's going to pass it out to Wise. Pop passes. Comes on the inside shoulder. Sets back inboard. One on one versus the fullback. Puts it on the boot. Toes it ahead. And gets the ball down in the 
over the try line there. And he's going to try and convert his own kick right in front of the post. And he's got the conversion. That makes the score. 36-24. Uni Pirates leading Palmerston and Crocs with five and a half minutes to go in the second half. And Dixon gets us back underway here. Nice high ball. Missed completely there by Uni. And it's recovered by Palmerston. Big number one. Loves it. And 19 has knocked that on. Absolute cold. That would have been a pavel over. The dog would have been licking him for weeks. Pass that out to Butcher, he's put that on the boot. He's going to the left side of the field there. 23's off that, but it's going backwards. And he's going to run that after getting told to kick that by his fullback. And he's going to be under pressure here. And he didn't really bring too much pressure to the breakdown. 10's put it on the Duke for a box kick. And he's put that deep, coming down rain on it. Butcher's safely underneath that. He's going to fake a kick and run it there. And there's been a high tackle. There's advantage being played. Uh, nice. Let's pass that into the 18. He's going to get tackled there by three of the Palmerston fellas. And 23 is going to go himself here. One on one with the fullback. Steps towards the post. 15's only got him in there by the boot laces. He's going to pop that up to the two. Again, the fullback makes a desperate tackle and makes him knock it on. 13 there, trying to make some nice ground to make it a little bit easier. Kick. In he's all over him on the ground, though. And they're going to kick that nice box kick. 18 all over that. He obviously can't pass to that side, so he turns around and passes it back into his winger there, who stepped through two there. Let's pop that back in board, back into the 18. Back to the 17, and we're finally out of forward pass called for the night. It's only taken two minutes to go before the end of the game finishes. Territory flat didn't, doesn't mean anything in the last three minutes. Uh, time's been blown off here. A few players back uh, in back play, sorry, uh, down on all haunches. Been a huge effort in these uh, conditions. Bit cooler than uh, usual, but still very muggy through the uh, rain earlier on. Humidity is right up there.
as Dixon again is going to put on the left Duke. Doesn't get a great purchase on that one. Going to have a line out. Thirty meters away from University's attacking try line. With their feed. And that one is a straight around but we're finally called a not straight in the line out. Looks like uh the go for the last three minutes is uh penalising what's happened all night. As Dixon in the backfield is set up for uh, another kick here. And he's done a chip instead of a long bomb with his 13 on hot pursuit there, and he's regathered that. That's a nice play there by Palmerson, but they've been driven over in the breakdown. Nice play there by Uni in defense. And Butcher there catching that and passing that out to the winger for getting caught in a two on one tackle there Uni again not releasing the ball and being penalised for it Uni being penalised for that all night and they still haven't learnt their lesson not releasing it just shows uh, Palmerston being on the ball instantly so it's uh, credit to their coaches there teaching out a pilfer Dixon there with a the kick for the sideline. We're going to have a line out eight metres short of halfway here. And numbers in the line out, not penalised by Uni. And we're going to pass that out wide. 23 is going to go out to the 13. Steps back inside, makes another 10 metre run. And Uni driving over there, but thankfully Palmerson secure the ball. Uh, that's going to try and... He's just running across there, number nine, and he's lost the ball. And we've had a double knock on, and that's going to be the end of the game, ladies and gentlemen. So after a tight contest in the uh, first half, back-to-back -back tries in under a minute, or under two minutes for our uni, have uh, put the scoreboard out a little bit in favour of uni. But they have come away winners 36-24. Uh, to 24. Uh, But a great tight contest by both teams. Uh, Palmerston lacking a little bit of... Uh, Attacking ball in the second half. Uh, and Uni just capitalising on a bit of sloppy defence. But all in all, it was a great game to uh, watch. Hope you enjoyed it on our streaming services of SBS On Demand, NI TV, and the Rugby Explorer app. It's been a pleasure to call, ladies and gentlemen. I hope to see you next week for a big contest. I believe it is between country versus city for the anti-rugby competition. I look forward to seeing you there. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. See you next week. You've been rockified.